Welcome to Kat's Kitchen. My name is Kat. Today I'm going to show you how to perfectly recreate the Starbucks white chocolate macadamia cream cold brew. It's honestly so easy to make at home once you get the materials. It's easy, breezy, beautiful cover. The things you're going to need. Number one, cold brew. You can make your own cold brew at home. I will link a video um, that shows three different ways you can make cold brew at home. Or you can go the easy route and just buy some store-bought cold brew. My all-time favorite is this Stoke uh, Unsweet Black cold brew. It's in this greenish teal bottle. It's unsweetened, it's delicious, it is bold, it is smooth. I feel like it tastes a lot like the Starbucks cold brew and you don't have to make it. This thing is about five, six-ish bucks depending on where you get it. Very, very, very good. Stoke also has one in a brown label bottle and it is their espresso blend. I also really like that one. Next up is macadamia nut syrup. Now I love Tarani. Tarani is my favorite coffee syrup brand. I have their chocolate macadamia nut, but I believe they have a regular macadamia nut. You can use either one. I feel like this one is just going to pair so perfectly with the white chocolate. <sighs> smells delicious, it smells like macadamia. It's buttery, sweet. You need macadamia syrup or this chocolate macadamia syrup. Then you also need some white chocolate sauce. I like the Tarani white chocolate sauce. You can find this at the grocery store. Um, you can find it online. And then you need some vanilla syrup. In all of the Starbucks cold foams, the cold foam that goes on top of the drinks, there's vanilla syrup in every single one. That is their base. They make what's called a sweet cream or vanilla sweet cream and it's vanilla syrup, some milk, and heavy cream, and they keep that in the refrigerators. They add it to the blender with other flavored syrups to make their cold foams. I don't always use vanilla syrup because I feel like adding the other syrups already makes it sweet enough, but since we're most accurately re replicating this today, I am gonna use the vanilla syrup, but it is optional, just know that. You also need some milk, I have whole milk. Starbucks uses 2% milk. Use 2% if you want. Heavy whipping cream, you do need that for sure. Then some ice, a cup. Doesn't have to be a Starbucks cup. This one was from Target. I got it for like $3, a reusable plastic one. I do like using these for cold coffees, like iced coffees and cold brews. Not so much pouring hot espresso into it or hot coffee, um, just because of the plastic, but since we're making cold brew today, I'm using that cup. Then you also need a smaller cup. This is where we're going to froth the cold foam and you need a high powered milk frother. This baby is from Bonson Kitchen. You get it from Amazon. It's like $8, sometimes it's even cheaper than that. If you don't have this particular Bonson Kitchen milk frother, regardless of the color, you need it. It's going to give you the best cold foam quickly, easily, efficiently. I'm not kidding when I say this is the one coffee tool you need in your coffee setup, in your kitchen, whatever. This thing does so much, it's gonna last you forever. It'll be the best eight bucks you're ever gonna spend. Um, and then lastly, I have some of these chocolate Milano cookies. This recipe has um, sh sugared cookie crumbles, I think is what they call it, or just toasted buttered cookie crumbles, some kind of cookie crumbles. These are the only cookies I have in my pantry. Um, you can also use graham crackers, any like shortbread type of cookie would be great. You can completely skip this, um, but I'm just going to mash up some of these cookies using a plastic bag or a stasher bag. What is this called? Reusable Ziploc, <laughs> Ziploc baggie, um, some cookies, and this is called a rolling pin. I'm gonna smack the heck out of it to make some cookie crumbles. So let's get into the recipe. First things first on the rulers. First things first, take your cup. We're gonna add some of that chocolate macadamia nut or regular macadamia nut syrup to the cup. Um, Starbucks uses pumps. I eyeball, I measure mostly in tablespoons. I'm gonna do one to two tablespoons. Personally, I don't like super sweet coffee, um, so I usually do half of whatever Starbucks usually puts. So this is about a tablespoon. 
and then adding the Stoke cold brew. And I'm going to add this to this top black line on the Starbucks, Starbucks cup. If you don't have a Starbucks cup, you're not using one, then you can absolutely just measure, um, 12 to 14 ish ounces. So I have my Stoke cold brew and my macadamia nut syrup in here. And then I'm just going to add some ice. I don't use an ice machine. I have been buying just a bag of ice from Sonic because it's cheap, it's easy, and there's pebble ice and they sell pebble ice. It's like three bucks a bag. I'm just going to add that in. I do about three of these um, scoopies for this large of a cup. All right, and then I don't want to fill it to the top because I am adding the cold foam. So set the ice aside, a little mix just to mix this up a bit and then set that aside as well. And we're going to bring in the little tiny cup, but you need a good milk frother. Like, like really, I'll put it in the description bar because it's just, it's really that great of a product. I think everyone should own it. All right. So starting with the cold foam, this is the white chocolate macadamia cold foam they have. Um, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of vanilla syrup. I'm going to do about half a tablespoon. <laughs> I melted my syrup bottle with the hot air from my air fryer. Oh, whoops. Then I'm going in with the chocolate macadamia nut syrup and I'm going to do about a half tablespoon of that one as well. And then some white chocolate sauce. This I'll do about a half tablespoon as well. Then I'm going to go in with some milk. Usually I'd go with 2% milk or 1%. All I have is whole milk, but that's okay. I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons, a little bit more of the milk, and then two to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. This is going to give you that real thick, frothy bubbliness, okay? So this is my sweet cream. You can totally just keep this in the fridge, add it to your cold brew as is, but to make it cold foam, sweet cream, cold foam, we're gonna froth, froth this baby up. And I'm just sticking the milk frother in and letting it do its thing. I probably should have gotten a bigger cup because of all the crap I added in, but it's all good. It's all good. Is it though? Is it all good? Yeah, we're good. Cause this is going to increase in size since it's getting thick and bubbly. And I just like to rotate it around in some circles and I'll do this for about 30 to 60 seconds. I don't want it too, too thick, but I don't want it so runny that it just sinks right into the, um, the drink. I like it to sit on top, just like they do at Starbucks. Starbucks uses a blender, not a handheld milk frother. So you can totally blend this mixture up, but who wants to wash a blender each time, you know? Not me. All right. You'll know it's done when it starts to get like a thick texture on top. I don't know the best way to describe that. Um, and then when you pull the mixture out or pull the milk frother out, it should stick to the, the milk frother even just a little bit. And if it's not, which mine's really not, ooh, that's good. Um, I'm gonna add just a little bit more heavy whipping cream just to get it a little bit thicker. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. Da, 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 da. Sing a song while you're at it. That's the song in my head today, I guess. All right. We're a little bit thicker. I'm going to add the cold foam to my cold brew. Oh, stunning. <laughs> wow, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. We're seeping in a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Is it though? All right. Then I'm going to take one of my cookies, put it in the bag, and I'm just going to smash it to pieces. Because okay. I'm trying to get some crumbles, some cookie crumbles, because that's the way the cookie crumb. Oh, oh yeah, this looks delish. And then the chocolate is matching the chocolate macadamia nut. Cool. All right. Again, get any type of shortbread cookie. 
that you want. And there you go. A chocolate, no, no, a white chocolate macadamia cream cold brew Starbucks copycat drink. Um, yeah, looks delish. Let's give it a sip. Mm hmm. Wow, we the heck. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey. Um, yeah, that's really good. Wow, this is delish. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. It was pretty easy to make. Oh, lastly, can't forget. Put the lid and the straw, put it all in a java sack. These are little sleeves that keep your iced coffee colder longer and then your hand doesn't freeze off. Super cute, super fun, super easy. And honestly, it tastes just like the Starbucks one, a little bit more chocolatey because I use chocolate macadamia nut instead of regular, but overall, 100 out of 10, definitely will be making this again. Try it and let me know what you think. And I will see you next time.